My name is Derek and today I'm going to be showing you how to quickly diagnose and fix an iPad backlight issue. Now this iPad that I'm working on is an iPad Pro 9.7 and it obviously has an issue with the backlight. And apart from the obvious backlight issue on the display, it's even more apparent when I look at the logic board. Here, when I put it under the microscope, we clearly have a hole in the sticker that's covering up the components around the connector. And when I peel back the sticker, we see that we've got a severely burnt filter. Now this filter here, because of how charred it is, I know that the pads are going to be fused to it. Typically when you have a component go bad, the pads below it are still just soldered to it, not actually like welded, like fused to it. But in this case, I can tell that they're fused to it. And if I damage these pads by trying to remove this filter aggressively, or in the normal way, which would be to simply heat it up and pull it off, I'll have to run a jumper all the way over to the backlight circuit because this is the last point it dives into the board. So I have to carefully approach it with my soldering iron, adding some lower melt solder. I've got some 138 here uh, that all I'm gonna add to the pads on both sides to help loosen it up. And I'm gonna work the iron around for a, a couple minutes to really try to get enough solder onto these pads that I can somewhat break up and hopefully pick away the component because it's not gonna come off like a typical component wood. Now that I've gotten it off, you can tell that it, they're still not flat pads, but I have enough of a contact point that I can add some additional solder and solder a new filter to it. Now I'm just gonna pull another backlight filter off of a donor iPad Pro 9.7 that I have by adding some low melt to both sides of it to make it easier for me to get it off. Using my tweezers and some hot air, I'm gonna carefully heat it up until it wants to let go on its own. And now I can transfer it over and solder it on to the pads that are remaining. Add some flux, set it in place, and carefully heat it up to temperature to where it'll wanna flow off. Now that it's on and I've cleaned up the flux, we can then go to test it. And here you can see backlight is somewhat working, but we have an issue here on the left side of the screen where every other LED is lit, creating an interesting look on that side of the display. So that means I need to do a little bit more digging. Now, if we take a look at our schematics at this component, we can see that it's tied all the way over to a diode that jumps into that that's part of this backlight circuit. Let's take the let's take the cover off the motherboard and take a look. And would you look at that? There's an obvious diode that's got a nice black hole through it. This component being downstream of the filter took the same amount of uh, of abuse that the filter did, so that's why it blew. This should be the only component I have to replace, and I'm going to do so in the same same way by adding some lower melting temperature to both sides. This will also not only help me get it off easier, but it'll also make the soldering of the new component much easier and I won't have to bring the board up to a higher temperature, potentially causing other issues. I'm gonna grab the same component off of my donor board by adding some low melt to both sides of, uh, of the diode making sure that I keep it in the, the, the proper orientation because it does matter. So I'm gonna make note of where the line is on this diode. We'll heat it up, get it off the board, and transfer it over to the new board. Now that I've done that, cleaned it up with some isopropyl alcohol and a brush, we can go and connect up the iPad again Get the battery connected once again and test the display. And would you look at that? We now have a fully lit display, backlight's completely working, and now this iPad is good to get be put back together and good to go. I hope that you found this video educational and helpful if you've run into this issue. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you 
in the next video.